If you thought the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser was bad, wait till you hear how much money it lost. The following is a world-class Bullshitters exclusive. The Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is the stuff of legend. The first ever Star Wars themed hotel boasted gourmet food and an experience no Star Wars fan could afford to miss. But most will as it's closing. The reason it closed was simple. It cost a whopping $5,000 for a two night excursion to a galaxy far, far away. That's an incredibly steep amount for how little is offered. On top of the price, fans weren't interested in spending more time with the cast of the sequel trilogy. That era of Star Wars is the most divisive in history. This led to a closure in record time. In just over a year, the Galactic Star Cruiser opened and will very soon close. And now we know how pricey this endeavor was for Disney. But before we get into that, today's video is brought to you by me, Jeff Hicks, and my graphic novel, Stealing Solo. If you want some quality Star Wars adjacent content that's not going to close anytime soon, well then go to StealingSolo.com. Stealing Solo asks the greatest what if question of all time. What if a group of disgruntled Star Wars fans kidnap Harrison Ford and force him to remake Star Wars in their basement? That, and a whole lot more, is answered in Stealing Solo, a Captain's parody. Stealing Solo has been called Laugh Out Loud Funny and the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs, and it's available now for a limited time only. Go to StealingSolo.com, which is powered by Shopify, so you get the reward-winning safety and security, and get yourselves a copy today. Once we sell through this limited backstock, I'm going back to the drawing board to bring you the sequel, which parodies Luke Skywalker's Fall from Grace, and finally the closing chapter, which I can't wait to get to, Frankenfisher, The Bride of Solo, and yes, it's exactly what you think it is. So folks, the only way to get that is go to StealingSolo.com right now, get yourselves a copy, and enjoy the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs. Thank you to those who have a copy, thank you to those who will get a copy, and for those who are wandering around the world, it'll be available internationally by August 9th. Remember folks, StealingSolo.com. And now, back to the video. Disney just revealed how badly their Star Wars hotel, the Galactic Star Cruiser, failed. In 2022, Disney launched the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel at the Walt Disney World Resort. And just over a year later, they announced the Star Cruiser's closure. The final voyage for the Star Cruiser will take place September 28th through the 30th of this year. Disney announced in an official statement, We are so proud of all the cast members and Imagineers who brought the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser to life and look forward to delivering an excellent experience to guests during the remaining voyage of the coming months. I wonder what the morale is like at that hotel. Is it kind of somber? People are like, oh... Or come back next year. No, you won't. You couldn't even come back a week after that. Here's the thing you actually all want to know. Disney's recent earnings call reveals the sheer scale of the Galactic Star Cruiser's failure. The reports reveal that the closure of the Galactic Star Cruiser means Disney is taking a hit of... $250 million in accelerated depreciation. This means Disney is writing off $2.5 million in taxes per room. It's an indication just how expensive the Galactic Star Cruiser was from the start, and therefore how significant of a failure this is for Disney. It's rumored the hotel cost a billion dollars to build, and it was built in a time where Disney had ample funds to throw around. However, the Galactic Star Cruiser is a cautionary tale of knowing your audience. As stated earlier in this video, the Galactic Star Cruiser is based off the sequel trilogy era, which older fans do not like. After years of sitting through films that watched their original favorite Star Wars characters be degraded, fans left and didn't come back. Disney and Star Wars is a bad combination. While the brands are intrinsically linked, the sheer amount of damage Disney has done to Star Wars is irreparable. The sad truth is that Disney's Galactic Star Cruiser was doomed to fail from the start, due to one simple mistake. It was far too expensive to spend on just two nights, with guests paying around $5,000. It's true that many critiques of the price tend to underestimate the additional features, including access to some of the most popular Star Wars rides, but the price tag alone made this too expensive for the vast majority of fans. $5,000 for a weekend just isn't sensible. That's particularly the case of this current economic climate. The interesting question is whether Disney will try again. Learning some lessons from the Galactic Star Cruiser's failure and attempting to create another Star Wars hotel that succeeds. Disney has always been focused on the idea of synergy across multiple mediums, and Star Wars is the ideal for such an approach. In theory, only time will tell if there's future in Star Wars hotels going forward. The only future there is, is to ask the audience what they want out of a Star Wars experience. Outside of the astronomical price, there wasn't a lot of value at the hotel. So that's what I want to ask you folks right now. What do you think you would have done to make the hotel more palatable? Let me know in the comments below and I'll be reading those. Obviously, I'm going to say less than $5,000 for two nights. I wouldn't even spend $1,000 a night to go to any kind of hotel experience. But I'll give you the simple answer that you all are thinking about right now. I'd have based it on the original trilogy. If I could spend a night on the Death Star or a night in Cloud City, then I would have considered spending the money. You have to take into account how many people grew up with Star Wars, and what they're nostalgic for. 
And what demographic has the expendable funds to go on an excursion like that? The social media crowd loved the sequel trilogy, but they didn't love it enough to spend money to make it even more successful. They didn't love it enough to make it bigger than the original trilogy, and that's the problem. It sounds basic, it sounds pedantic, but going the original trilogy route is always successful because it's nearly 50 years old, and up until recently, it was always popular, it was always welcome, and it's always a good time to see Star Wars. Nowadays, that's not the case. But if you want some good quality Star Wars adjacent content, well, there's only one place to go, and it's not Disney World, it's StealingSolo.com. Stealing Solo answers the world's greatest what-if question. What if a group of disgruntled Star Wars fans kidnap Harrison Ford and force him to remake Star Wars in their basement? That and a whole lot more is answered in Stealing Solo, a Captain's Parody. I want to thank everybody who keeps buying the book. I've been shipping them out left and right. We've been making sure that every one of those books has gone out. And folks, I know I'm a little late, but today on the 11th, I will finally get to international shipping. So that way everyone can get a copy over the weekend and we can get those out to you. We've sold through a good chunk of our back stock, and like I said, once it's gone, I'll start working on the sequel, which is a parody of Luke Skywalker, and then we can get to the final chapter, Frankenfisher, The Bride of Solo, which is exactly what you think it is. That's how I dealt with my disappointment from the Star Wars sequel trilogy. I made a parody comic, and I'd like to share it with each and every one of you, because it'll help ease the pain, it'll help laugh at the experience, and though it happened a few years ago, it's never too late for a good laugh. So folks, the only place to get that is StealingSolo.com. It's powered by Shopify, so you get their award-winning safety and security, and it helps you get the book that is called Laugh Out Loud Funny. So folks, StealingSolo.com is the place to be. I'll be back next time with more. Be on the lookout for our clips. Be on the lookout for many things coming from world-class bullshitters. But in the meantime, be smart, be safe, be cool, but always be excellent to each other. <laughs>